in Marrero. Let's take a listen. Clackamas Parish Sheriff's Office. Uh, we're doing a narcotics investigation here at this location. Uh, at least during that um, narcotics investigation, uh, at least one of the officers shot an individual uh, who was trying to flee in a car at that point in time uh, here at this location. The car ended up fleeing probably about six or seven blocks south of this location. Uh, during that flee, ended up disposing of at least one weapon uh, and narcotics into the canal back behind us, which we've subsequently located. We're still looking to see if anything else was just done, but we've located at least one firearm and narcotics. Uh, about seven blocks uh, south of here, he ended up stopping uh, at that point in time. Uh, they realized he ended up having at least one gunshot wound. Uh, gunshot wound, they started first aid, called for medical. He was transported to UMC, but has subsequently passed away at UMC. Uh, so we're dealing with several different scenes, obviously, down here. Jefferson Parish the Sheriff's Office is taking the lead on uh, the investigation from that, and we'll get you all the information when we can. But can you know give us any in fired? information about the circumstances that, that forced uh, your deputy? Uh, Not yet. To shoot was... was uh, in danger of, of being run over you uh, can you, you can your guess is as good as mine right now just because we haven't even taken those interviews i mean obviously this is a, a close scene uh, my crime scene will come out and collect the evidence but my i mean my homicide detectives will certainly take those interviews to figure out the circumstances um again i, I know we've located a gun on scene but but i i'm gonna let those statements play out was it your deputy that did the shooting? I'm not going to give that information right now. We'll let them, um, you know, we'll let that investigation play what out. What was the nature of the narcotics investigation? I, Were your officers expecting to run into a violent force like this? I, to be honest with you, I don't know the uh, circumstances behind it. I mean, I've been a narcotics uh, agent for many, many years, years ago. Uh, certainly, uh, any type of narcotics transaction, uh, you expect some type of violence, but I don't know the circumstances on this individual. You right. said it was a seven-block scene. Where did it start? It started right here, right Michelle. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What were officers shot at? Um, uh, I don't believe that's the case, but uh, but I, we haven't even processed that car yet for me to tell you that definitively. Is there another crime scene in Pomosa and Patriot? Uh, yes, that would be where the vehicle stopped, and you're going to have at least two crime scenes in between here where things were discarded out of the vehicle. Any officers injured? Uh, I don't believe so. We don't have anybody at the hospital, whether minor injuries, I'm not sure of. And, yeah. and the status of the man who was shot? Uh, I said that already. He passed away at UMC. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it was one of my deputy's guns, but I, I don't I don't know what uh, what was used. So, there you go. Thank you all very much. Appreciate right, it. Chief Arthur Lawson, do you have right any, there? You're uh, just hearing from uh, Jefferson Parra, Sheriff Joe Lapinto, talking about multiple crime scenes here in Marrero involving multiple jurisdictions from Plaquemines Parish, Gratina, Jefferson Parish, and Orleans, all conducting a drug investigation here. When for some reason the the suspect that they were trying to track drove several blocks uh, down this street behind the gentleman that you're listening to right now uh, and was shot, later dying at the uh, at University Medical Center. Again, multiple crime scenes. Scenes. Let's take a listen here to what else they're saying. I mean, it is a, a problem that we deal with on a daily basis and dealing with not only this, the sale of drugs, but individuals who are under the influence of drugs. And talk, talk about the task force. Well, the task force has been, uh, has been around since 2005. Uh, it's made up of the, the agencies that the sheriff's office mentioned, uh, as well as two other agencies who right now are waiting to fill, refill those positions. Um, it's a multi-jurisdictional task force that uh, can travel throughout the, the area and, and handle crimes throughout the area, the New Orleans area and metropolitan area. Uh, it's been a very successful task force, has a very high conviction rate, um, and, and just very successful. So they handle any, any type of major crimes. It doesn't have to be narcotics. It could be any type of major crimes they participate in. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Sheriff, one more question. Was the suspect... And again, you are hearing about the uh, the task force investigation that led to a deputy opening fire, shooting and killing a suspect, all part of a drug investigation that happened earlier today. They're on 10th Street right now uh, near the hospital there in Marrero, but the shooting itself happened about seven blocks about south of uh, where you're seeing at this location here. Again, right now there are multiple crime scenes. We have a crew there at the scene to try and get us some more details. But again, a drug investigation here in Jefferson Parish involving multiple jurisdictions jurisdictions turning deadly after a deputy opens fire on a suspect believed to be involved in a drug investigation.